I'm stood with uh, England cricket legend, I think it's fair to say, and now cycling boss, Matt Pryor. How are you doing, Matt? I'm very well, thank you. A bit cold, but lovely to be in Yorkshire, as always. I think a bit cold is an understatement today. It's a bit of a rotter, isn't it? It is It is a rotter. I've you know, just been on the bus trying to motivate the guys as they're getting about 15 layers on, about to spend four or five hours in this, uh, in this weather. But, um, as I say, it's a really exciting time to be here. Um, Tour de Yorkshire was a huge success last year and I'm sure uh, it'll be even bigger this year. It was your first event I believe last year so what did you learn from that event going into this year? Yeah I mean there was a lot the first thing we learned was how popular cycling is in the UK and how well supported this race is um, you know everyone came out to support um, all the teams but particularly the UK teams as well which is fantastic um, and the other thing is it's a tough race it really is I think there are a lot of foreign teams that have come over thinking oh, I won't be that, that hard and they'll just coast through it but that, that's not the case at all it's a really tough race and our guys are, are well prepared for that we certainly found that from the cyclists who were here last year that they found it tougher than they expected what's ahead of your riders in stage one today um, get through the cold uh, <laughs> firstly I mean look the, the one thing I've said is you know the mentality I want to take into into this race and any race that one pro cycling involved in is is one that's very positive you know we want to make sure that we are racing we want to make sure that we're in the moves um, and creating opportunities to, to see if we can do something special. Who knows what, you know, the stage doesn't look like it could be a sprinter. So, I mean, anything could happen today. So we've got to be aware, we've got to be alert and, and making sure that we're, we're right in the mix if anything goes. I woke up to uh, snow this morning. It's going to be a bit slippery out there as well. Do the cyclists have to think about the conditions a little bit? Does that impact on your strategy in any way? Yeah, I think there's always, I mean, you always have to look outside and see, see what's going on. Obviously, the, the cold weather as well will have an impact. But of course, you know, when there's snow and ice and, and everything else, um, they'll be thinking that but I think you have to put that almost at the back of your mind um, it is what it is everyone the conditions are the same for everyone um, and and stick to what the game plan is um, and as I say as long as we're taking the positive uh, positive routes then I'll be happy it's gonna be a big three days of action what be success for your team in this tour de Yorkshire um, it's, a, it's a really it's a tricky one really um, I, I would like to see us as I say putting our marker down as um, one of the two big UK teams. Um, obviously, Team Sky are Team Sky. Um, but you know, as I say, I'd like us to be um, in the race at all times. Um, and who knows if we, we pip a stage win? Um, there's one that we're eyeing up. Um, you know, getting the brakes and, and just make sure we keep learning and keep moving forward um, with every opportunity we have. And I've got to ask you about cricket. I've been watching a lot of the uh, Indian Premier League over the last uh, few weeks. It's been quite a good tournament this year. And I always think when I watch it, you'd been brilliant in that format of the game. <laughs> yes, it's always easy when you've retired. You'd, you'd be amazing in every format. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, the IPL is a fantastic um, tournament, fantastic um, competition in general. I mean, we saw from the 2020 World Cup as well how exciting that was. And that just goes into the, into the IPL. I think the IPL has got a lot to... Um, um, to, or we've got a lot to thank the IPL for in, in that case. Um, the standards of, of 2020 cricket and cricket in general is going through the roof and not just batting and bowling but the fielding as well. It's just been you know, amazing. So another great competition um, and I'm, I'm just looking forward to a similar thing happening in the UK.